you like me now? How 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 you like me now? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, that's right. This is going to be my Madden NFL 18 preview of Owner's Mode. And let me tell you right now, guys, this is going to be the most detailed Owner's Mode CFM you've ever seen on YouTube. I mean, we're going to go deep into this franchise, guys. And that's why I wanted to do Owner's Mode. Boom, boom. Let's get it started. Now, what we're going to do in Madden 18, we're going to start our new franchise. And as you know, guys, you know we're going to be choosing the Washington Redskins. So we can, we can use the preseason roster. That's fine. Welcome to franchise mode. All the best right. way to play. Let's go ahead and click past this. Select the team you want to join. Don't worry. You'll be able to choose the role you plan in just a second. All right, as you can see, guys, the top players on the team right now is uh, Josh Norman, Jordan Reed, our tight end, Josh Norman, our quarter cornerback, and Trent Williams, our left tackle, all pro left tackle. As a team right now here in this Madden, we're overall 79 over, on, overall. And on offense, we're overall 83, and on defense, we are overall 81. I don't know what the rating is going to be for Madden 18, but we will get there. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go to our starting point. And what we're going to do, we're going to do a regular season. Actually, yeah, let's just do the regular season. We're going to change our role here. And instead of being a coach player, we're going to be an owner. All right. And what we're going to do, we're going to be an active owner. We don't want to create one. And there's our active owner right there, guys. Dan Schneider. He's the real owner of the Washington Redskins. It says, start playing regular season. Max experience. Take the field and control all aspects of your players and all your team's finances. And that's what we're going to do in this CFM, guys. We're going to cover it step by step deep detail by detail as the owner okay um, now league settings um, they're exactly where I want them so uh, you know coach firing salary cap all the good things you want to see all right so let's go ahead and select it your season starts now Right, we're starting to lead, guys. We are starting to lead. And, and by the way, guys, this is a preview of what you're going to see in Madden NFL 18 running our owners mode and CFM. It's going to be the most detailed CFM owners mode you've ever seen on YouTube. I'm going to let it uh, get on up here now. Uh, it's simulating a preseason. It really doesn't matter, guys. I'm just going to show you what we're going to do as we get into the uh, league, our CFM. Connected franchise mode. In case you never knew what CFM meant, it's connected franchise mode. All right, we're getting through week four right now. I should have just started it from the regular season. I don't remember what I did, but... We're getting there. Kick off your week by installing your okay, game plan. Okay, now, obviously we're gonna start our training. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna play our game. We're gonna advance the week. We're gonna improve team. But what I really wanted to focus on, that's our team. And I wanna talk about managing the team, of course, but I wanna go to owner's mode. Uh, of course, we can do our depth chart, our injury report, salaries, and team goals. We're gonna do all of that in CFM. But it, when we're dealing with owner's mode, guys, we're going to talk about goals, media questions, finances, and stadium, etc. And then we're going to do my coach, edit schemes, and improve the team. But let's start up here. Let's make sure I don't miss anything. 
Uh, see, we got injury reports. We're going to do salaries, acquisitions, team goals, spend team XP, and player progressions. We're not going to do them right now, but we're, we're going to cover every last one of those in CFM. You know, I don't think, I just haven't seen anybody cover those, but we're going to cover those, man, every uh, time, guys. We're going to stick with that. But I want to, what I really want to focus on is owner goals. I mean, my, uh, the owner. As the owner, guys, since this is going to be an owner league uh, ran by Dan Sch Schneider, uh, one Super Bowl win um, in your career. And we're talking about the owner goals now. And also, uh, one Super Bowl loss. Okay. Um, you see the offensive scheme is West Coast. Defensive scheme is attacking 3-4. And right now, his legacy is 500. So we obviously want to increase that. Okay, then we go back in again. Let's go to media questions. We're going to cover all this in CFM, guys. And this is our staff when it comes to media relations. I don't know her name, but she's a part of our staff. It would be nice and mad team if they gave us the, her name. Um, as far as she's basically our expert when it comes to media questions. And right now, there is no recent media questions, but we're going to cover that in Madden 18. Um, it says, our fan happiness need, needs work. That's what she's saying. Our team popularity is an overall 12th right now. That's not bad considering all the teams in the NFL were 12th. Recent success is bad because we're 0-0. Zero and zero. We haven't actually started the season yet. And following through with your responses is vital to maintaining fan happiness. So we're going to do that, guys and Madden NFL 18. Let's go back in and go to the next step, which is team value. All right. Several factors go into your team value and the higher it is, the more revenue you generate as an owner. Remember, you have to use your funds to pay signing bonuses. So if you go into the off season with zero money, You'll struggle to improve your team. All right. So it says right here, overall, guys, uh, we're, we're number 25 as far as team value. Fan happiness, we're number 22. Team success, we're 28. You see the numbers, guys, how we're ranked. Um, our staff is 19th. We're pretty good. Um, concessions, we're doing good at 17. And ticket sales, we're number 17. But we look at it, we go in each, uh, each let's go in fan happens. Uh, oh, we can't go in there now. We can't go in there, I'm sorry. But we can sort them if we want, but we'll leave them like it is, guys. You can see um, it's got all the teams in here. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, but uh, we're going to focus on every last one of these, guys. Every last one of these, okay? Let's go back. And we're going to cover also team finances. We got our tickets right there. It shows week one ticket sold last home game with 6.557 million. Let's go into tickets real quick. We're going to cover all of this, guys. I don't know if you guys are going to like it, but this is going to be the most detailed CFM owners mode you've ever seen on YouTube. Sweet tickets, capacity. 4,860. Uh, of course, we didn't sell any last week. We haven't started the season yet. The current price is $450. Fan feedback is good value. Okay, as you can see, the club tickets are $150. Um, um, Mesa Zane tickets are $100 current price, uh, which is a capacity of $32,000. Upper level, upper level tickets are $40 each. If you want to set up in the nosebleed section. Okay, and if you want a suite, guys, it's, called, it's going to cost you $450. We have 4,860 suites. All right. And if we look at uh, our mentions here, our Twitter fan, it says, Washington fam, at Redskins tickets in the upper section are about what I expect them to be. Um, it's actually got Shopmaster on here. Shopmaster at Redskins. Tickets in the suites section are pretty fairly priced. I might catch a game. All right. Those are our ticket prices, guys. So we're going to cover those and see how we're doing each week with our ticket prices. You can see merchandise. 
Uh, we're gonna do this every week, guys. Maybe not every week. Maybe every four weeks. We'll we'll see how we're doing, or we can look at it every week. It depends on uh, what's going on. Um, we look at uh, our team apparel right now. Hold on a second. Let me go back and look at some. Make sure. Okay, let's go back to tickets for a second. Okay, I got it all. Okay, we go to merchandise. All right, we got team apparel. Um, average price is a hundred dollars. Um, sold last week, uh, sold 430 for 43k. Uh, absolutely, we didn't really do anything yet. Uh, fan feedback is decent value. Um, those are the prices of the shirts. Sideline Nike Drive Fit T-shirts are 32 dollars. Uh, we got the Nike Drive Fit T-shirt. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, no, uh, the Nike Super Bowl T-shirt. Um, Forty dollars. Um, the new era hat, fifty-nine fifty. Fitty hat, thirty-five dollars. So there's our apparels, guys. We can show, look at the prices right there and see how many we sold each week. Okay, if we look at our jersey sales. Same thing. We got the Kirk Cousins night jersey. We have the Josh Norman jersey. Josh Dodson. Jordan Reed and Deshaun Jackson, which is no longer with our team. So we'll be uh, going through those in Madden 18. And we'll look at our memorabilia set prices. Kirk Cousins signed football is $300. A Rydell mini helmet, current price is $25. So we can actually see what we sold, guys, each week. And our fan feedback will say decent value or if they think it's too much money or whatever it is, right? Okay, guys. We look at concessions. We're going to do all of this, guys. I don't know if it's going to be boring for you. Well, we're going we're gonna to make this detail, guys. We're going to actually do a owner's mode. Potato chips. Excuse me. Potato chips. Current price is $2. Our fan feedback will say that's a decent value. Well, average price is two dollars. Our fries is five dollars. Hot dogs is five dollars. Peanuts is three. Uh, 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 popcorn is four dollars. And soda is five. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And it's basically showing week one, guys. Uh, we have 560k uh, concessions sold last home game. It says our potato chip sales are pretty average. Try adjusting the price to get more revenue from them. So that's our expert you can see up there he's telling us what to do um, that's basic though guys that's basic if we look at our two star uh, set prices three star um, it says upgrade the concessions in the stadium screen to unlock the ability to sell these items so we'd have to unlock that four star and five star concessions so we'll start with the basic guys uh, and then you go, you got coffee, pretzel, sandwiches, shakes, tacos. <laughs> and you go to three star concessions uh, where it looks like they got capital cotton candy. Um, uh, what's that? Root beer floats, onion rings, chicken salad, egg custard, snow cone. <laughs> and the four star, we have premium fish sandwiches. Uh, wow, crab cake nachos and small pizza. So you can go through and sell different types of things, guys. And we're going to track and see what our sales are because as an owner, you need to keep track of all those things. Did I get everything? Let's go back and see if I got everything. Uh, finances. Team revenue. Very important as an owner. Um, in, uh, income shared 2 million concessions uh, we haven't made anything concessions yet merchandise it gives you an amount and tickets expenses then we have expenses player salaries staff salaries stadium lease stadium maintenance player bonuses which uh, on the expenses side is 5.54 million on the income side is 3.09 million which means we're, we're spending more than we're making. Make sense? So we'll actually get our team revenue report. Obviously, we want more green than red. We want more income than we have expenses. Expenses is overhead, guys. Overhead will kill you if you ain't making enough money to pay for those expenses, which means you're going into red, you're going into a hole, you're going into a losing franchise. 
I love this guy. We're going to attack this stuff in detail. Uh, let's go inside team revenue. Okay, we did that. We did that. Okay. All right. All right. Now, let's see. Did we get everything? Uh, see, man, we even have marketing, guys. Player marketing. All right, boom, boom. Uh, like I was saying, guys, Josh Norman had 139K, 139,000 jersey sales. Jordan Reed had 132, and Kirk Cousins had 129. I won't go over everybody. You can see uh, uh, Josh Dawson had 100 jerseys, 100,000 jersey sales, which is pretty good, guys. Let's see what the top 10 is. Drew Brees, Tony Romo, and Cam Newton. Uh, sold the most jerseys in the NFL. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty good to know. These players sell jerseys uh, be because of how popular they are. Okay, the more players you add to the team that can sell jerseys, the more revenue you can bring in each week. Makes a lot of sense, guys. We got We got to talk about marketing, team popularity. You know, she's trying to tell us we, it needs work. Our fan happiness needs work. Our national popularity right now is 65%. Our regional popularity is 75%. Our local popularity is 75%. Um, our overall popularity is 50%, 12th in the NFL. Um, it says our marketing efforts have been successful in increasing our popularity this season. So she'll give us that type of report on team... Um, popularity we look at our media relations she's telling us our team popularity is 12 we went over that but we don't have any recent media questions right now um, so that's pretty good guys that's pretty good um, if we go back in again we can look at our stadium your stadium is the lifeblood of your franchises if you have the funds, choose to upgrade the different parts of the stadium or renovate. You can only upgrade if your stadium is big enough to allow it. And if your stadium rating is low enough, otherwise you can choose to rebuild or relocate. So we can, it says right here, guys, this, here's another one, our other, another experts talking about our stadium. Um, it looks like Landover, Maryland, our FedEx field is, is 19 years old. We have a 23 rating, our happiness is okay, and we are size three. Uh, let's see, our parking level two is a rating 51, which is pretty good. Our team store is a, at, is a level two at 37. Our fan zone is level two at 40. So um, actually our seating is a level three at a 78. But there at the bottom it says the stadium team store can be upgraded i do that as soon as you can so it's saying our team store needs to be upgraded so i wouldn't uh i would rather uh upgrade the stadium rather than um rebuild it says we can't relocate a rating must be less than 20 to relocate and we got a 23 rating so if i was to upgrade the stadium there, there it is right there. We can renovate or upgrade. I would probably upgrade just to give you an example. Um, a level two rating 51. But a renovate is cheaper. It only cost me 10 million. Right now our available funds is 38.3 million. So maybe re, re, uh, renovating a stadium is probably better just to upgrade uh, the, the certain things you have. Because upgrading um, it's going to cost $20 million. So if we renovate it, see it says we renovate it. Um, yeah, I think that's right. And we look at our team store. We can, we can, it says we need to, uh, he says we need to upgrade our team store so we could renovate that. Now we got a rating 99, level two. Okay, we look at our fan zone. Uh, we can't do anything there. Current upgrade uh, ultimate fan zone is a 40. So that's pretty good. Bathrooms rating is 44. We can't do any of these yet, guys. We would have to up uh, get more of a score. You can see they have locks on them to renovate or upgrade. 
um, cons bathrooms, concessions, and seating. So, uh, we can only really, um, well, they're locked right now. Anyway, they're locked. So we would actually have to be able to have the money. Right now, we only got 13.3 million because we, we just uh, upgraded the uh, team store. Well, you kind of get the idea how we're going to do this, guys. Um, so we're going to dig deep, guys. We're going to dig deep. Um, we look at our staff. Fans expect you to put together a world-class staff, but doing that is very expensive. Scouts give you a discount on specific ratings and trainers. Determine how much a player ratings drop when he comes back from a serious injury. Don't forget, the higher your coach's level, the bigger the benefit you get from the traits you buy for him. Okay, there's our departments, head coach, scouting, and training. Our totals, and there, you see we got another expert there, um, our expert, team expert. He says that we have 4.44 million in total salaries, paying everybody. Our fan happiness is okay. Um, our staff is below average compared to the rest of the league, and that is hurting team value. See, our expert is telling us that. Let's get. Let's look for example. Let's say uh, we want to upgrade packages. We can upgrade our packages like scouting, uh, master trade negotiation. So when we do these things, we'll have more of an impact, more effect. Uh, uh, we'll get better results if we upgrade these packages. So we want good scouting. We want master trade negotiator. We want a quarterback free agency influence. We want uh, running back free agency influence, guys. We want those things. So. Uh, we can upgrade those packages. Same thing with player progressions and player progression. I mean, player retention and player regressions. So we can upgrade those packages, guys, to uh, give us a better uh, outcome. We look at our scouting. Uh, if we want to do some staff changes, we could. At the bottom, it says fire staff with the square. So we can fire these guys if we wanted to. If they're not doing the job, guys, so no need to keep them. No need to keep them. Let's go back in for a second. Okay. Okay. I got everything. But that's just another thing we're going to cover, guys. And it might seem like a lot, guys, but I think that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to try to cover these throughout the week, and then we'll uh, play the game. Now, we might not do this every week. We'll probably do it every four weeks. We'll go over and look at everything. Um, team success. Team success is tracked over multiple years and changes going forward based on your wins and losses. Playoff victories and overall success success plays uh, a success plays a big part in your team value. So win as much as you can. There's our other expert right there. You look at our historic record. It's 565 and 546 losses and 27 ties. We have a huge market size. Our city personality is a front runner. Improve success by winning and performing well on the field. All right, you can see the Redskins, Saints, Seahawks. Okay, that's where we're ranked right there, guys. Somewhere in between almost close to 32. All right. So we look at recent, that's historically, but if we look at recent, uh, it's showing, because we haven't really done anything, so it's going to show the same thing. All right, guys, on this thing, you look at my coach, and one of the things, another thing I'm going to cover, guys, we went over coach goals, but I wanna, I'm want i going to show you guys a formation subs. Um, as our team gets better, you see the app formation. Um, it shows where everybody's going to be in each position. Um, like Ray shows Matt Jones and uh, Chris uh, Chris Thompson and Silas Red Jr. as our running backs. So if I wanted to switch Matt Jones, I could put Vernon Davis there. Oh, those are the guys in the positions. So I would go to each position if I wanted to change it. Let's say my let's say uh, my left guard Sean Laveau wasn't doing too good. And I want to switch him out on certain plays. 
only in the I Formation Pro. So if I wanted to switch him out, I can put somebody else in here, see? I can put Spencer Long in there. Now Spencer Long is in there. So with each formation, the pro, tight, um, twin tight end, and twins. Guys, I know this is a long video, but uh, it's fun, guys. And we're going to go over that. So we look at the different formation. Pistol. We're going to set it up where we put the right people based on their stats. Based on their ratings, which is gonna be great. You know what, guys? We're gonna make we're gonna make this uh, part two. We're gonna make this part two. I'm gonna go, go ahead and end, it, end, it, end the video right here. And then we're gonna start the next video uh, talking about um, the coaching schemes, formation subs, schemes, auto subs, uh, coaching goals. We're gonna set all that up in part two. We're not gonna set it up, but we're gonna talk about it on how we're gonna attack and get ready each week in Madden NFL to 18. All right, guys, if you liked the video, I know it was a like, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you wanna get, get involved into a great CL film owner's mode for Madden 18, hit that subscribe button, guys. We are gonna do it. And I'll, I'll, I'll also, I'll be wanting some feedback from you guys on different changes that might help the team. And as always, until next time, everybody, thanks for watching.